This presentation is called Applying Hamilton's Rule and Inclusive Fitness, Part 3. So Hamilton's Rule is transformative, and here we're going to focus on the basic logic of it again. So this little uh, mathematical model where R times B is greater than C if we apply that to the study of animal behavior, we can find that relatedness can transform altruistic acts into cooperative acts. And this is right at the heart of the application of Hamilton's rule to altruistic behavior. So let's start with an altruistic act and remind ourselves what that is. If we have these two who we'll call purple and blue smiley face, then what happens in an altruistic act is that purple does something to benefit the reproductive success of blue. That's the green arrow between purple and blue. But as a result of that, the reproductive success of purple is lowered. So blue gains and purple is harmed. And that's the meaning of altruism. Purple's direct fitness declines, but the question that Hamilton's rule raises is what about purple's inclusive fitness? So to consider inclusive fitness, we have to look at the relatedness between purple and blue. So we're going to arbitrarily define the coefficient of relatedness between these two smiley faces as 0.5. So we're going to say they're full siblings and that means that R is equal to 0.5. So if the cost of purple was one sun, the cost of assisting blue, and the benefit to blue was three suns, purple gains through that three nephews. And this is how we can calculate whether purple in fact benefited from this act that appeared to be altruistic. So we can see that purple's direct reproductive success has declined because the fitness of purple has declined by one offspring. But at the same time, purple's inclusive fitness has increased. It's increased by, in this example, three nephews. So what looked like altruism as a result turns out to be cooperation. So let's look at how Purple comes out on the positive side of things here. The benefit to purple is that purple gains three nephews, and three times 0.25 is 0.75. That's a units of fitness that is a benefit to purple of being altruistic. The cost of purple is one sun, and one times 0.5 is 0.5, and 0.75 is greater than 0.5. And so we can see that purple has benefited. In fact, this has been a gain for purple in genetic fitness, not a loss. When we look at blue, blue also comes out ahead. And this is because the gain to blue is quite large. It's three suns, so three times 0.5 is 1.5. That's quite a gain. Um, the cost to blue is the one nephew. Uh, that's the son of purple who was lost, and that's 0.25 units of genetic fitness. So blue comes out 1.25 units of genetic fitness ahead, and they both come out winners, and that's what we mean by cooperation. Cooperation is when the act of one organism benefits the other, but also benefits that actor. And so what looked like altruism when we first talked about this turns out to be cooperation in terms of its consequences. And the key to seeing that, again, is inclusive fitness. To repeat this one more time, and inclusive fitness adds together direct fitness and indirect fitness. So the key to all of this is inclusive fitness. Thank you for listening.